Hello everyone, thanks so much for clicking on the video. In today's video, I just want to deal with one verse, and it's Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Now you may be thinking, why are you going to just refer to one verse in order to explain the Trinity, as the topic of the video states? The reason being is because I think it's actually a pretty concise statement, and it's actually very impactful. And here's why. In Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19, the Great Commission has been given to the disciples. And it states that to go and baptize all nations in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now that's a pretty, very concise and simple statement, but very impactful. And here's why. I want you to think about in the Old Testament, anytime the letters L-O-R-D are all capitalized, it's referring to something known as the Tetragrammaton, which is the name for God. As a follower of Jesus Christ, I believe the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are all God. But I do not believe that the Father is the Son, the Son is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is the Father. I believe they are three coexisting, co-eternal persons. Now, back to Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. When you read this, notice that it says to baptize them in the name, singular, of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, plural showing you that the three persons are referred to with the same name. When you read the name, it's basically stating to baptize that the Father can actually be called Yahweh, the Son can be called Yahweh, and the Holy Spirit can be called Yahweh. Very interesting, isn't it? Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I was just sitting in my room and I was trying to think of something and I was actually communicating with my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and this seemed to be impactful to them. So I thought that this would be very impactful to everyone to know that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the triune Godhead, is proven in one specific scripture, and it's in the Great Commission. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below. Or if you have any questions you want to ask me directly, please feel free to email me at servantofchristministries at gmail.com. Until next time, God bless.